back to school shopping. In public school, you probably groan when you hear those words. Um, searching a dozen stores for that one yellow two-prong paper folder, or filling the cart with your jumbo packs of Kleenex and Clorox wipes and Ziploc bags and dry erase markers, not to mention the eight pack of Crayola crayons, not the 24 pack that's on sale for only a quarter. But homeschool is different. Um, homeschool is freedom. Uh, you can buy whatever you want. You can buy what your kids want. If they want the special thing. Go ahead and get it. Um, take advantage of Ohio's tax-free weekend, uh, which is August 7th through 9th this year. If you're trying to take notes on this, don't bother. Uh, we'll blow up post a list in the comments so you can keep up. Um, things you'll definitely want to stock up on are the basics. Um, if you have a youngster, maybe early elementary school or even preschool, um, you'll want paper, you'll want pencils, coloring supplies, um, scissors, glue, glue sticks, and um, like uh, Elmer's glue. As kids get older, add in things like pens and markers, uh, notebooks, binders, folders, rulers, clipboards, um, lined writing paper, the, the, the elementary kind, the cool kind, um, tape of all kinds, duct tape, electrical tape, masking tape, um, double-sided tape, uh, lots of scotch tape. Get that while it's on sale. Um, hot glue, that's a good one. You always need hot glue. Um, and things like that. So take a look through the aisles and, and see what you might need just to have fun. Um, arts and crafts are a wonderful way to encourage creativity and to keep your kids occupied um, during read aloud time, during bad weather, um, even just to keep them occupied with each other to have a good time. Uh, a trip to the dollar store or the craft store will get you all sorts of amazing great things. Uh, you get construction paper, cardstock, stickers, feathers, beads, perler beads are great, uh, pom-poms, acrylic paints, uh, brushes, lots of brushes, um, chalk, um, pastels, fabric markers and fabric to do things on. Um, they make bags and um, t-shirts and all sorts of things just to have on hand. Um, you can get decorative jewels and little stones, sheets of felt, craft sticks, always need craft sticks and more hot glue. Um, you don't even need a Pinterest board to follow. Just give your kids some random stuff and let them create things. Um, it's very creative. Uh, then you're going to want some place to store all your stuff. Um, a set of plastic drawers maybe. Uh, some clear storage bins, maybe a tote, um, a small cabinet or a bookshelf, uh, where whatever fits in your space and will work for your kids. Um, depending on your kids, you may need to bring things out to be used, or if you're lucky, you may be able to give them free access to the supplies. Um, again, that depends on you and your family. Things that might make your life a little easier um, that you might never have considered needing. A laminator. Um, that's always joked about, but it's really fun to have. Um, and if you don't want to go with that route, you can get a roll of clear contact paper and kind of self-laminate things. Um, a good electric pencil sharpener. A globe. Ticondero Ticon Ticonderoga pencils, the good kind get those. Um, you won't have to sharpen them as easy and they won't break like the cheap ones. Um, you can get a globe, even a blow-up globe. Have the kids play with it. Um, one of those shower curtain maps. Um, you can get wall maps. Dollar Store usually has some good basic um, maps. Uh, dry erase boards, big ones, little ones, um, markers for them. Colored markers are fun. Um, Having a good printer is nice. Um, there's always something to print. Wireless is really helpful too. Um, and ink. Keep ink on supply because you will always be low on ink if you don't. Um, you can get small notebooks for carrying around and doing like nature journals in. Um, magnifying glasses, binoculars, uh, butterfly nets, poster boards. Dollar Store has lots of those too. 
um, a three hole punch, hot glue, hot glue gun, um, more glue, uh, all sorts of papers, yarn, um, and then there's kitchen things like salt and baking soda, vinegar, guess what that's for. Um, lots of food coloring, you always need food coloring. Um, things like dry rice, dry beans, um, and then extra boxes of things to sneak in, maybe some boxes of brownie mix or um, ingredients for cookie dough, because that counts as math, counts as home ec, um, life skills, and sometimes you really just need to make a, a yummy snack together. Um, it can really change around a day. Uh, the last thing I want to mention isn't a school supply, but at some point kind of everybody tends to think that they need one. Um, but most people who have one don't use it. And that is a school room or some dedicated place to do school. You'll come across some gorgeous pictures online um, of school rooms that are all set up and they just look so fun and fancy. But for most family, it is to families, it's totally not necessary. Um, school will happen at the kitchen table or the dining room table or on the couch or on the floor or maybe upside down hanging off a bunk bed. Um, you'll do school in the car and at the park, um, grandma's house, really anywhere. Um, so don't worry about getting desks or a big dry erase board. Um, if you do have computers, they'll need a safe spot um, and a charging spot. Uh, if you need to clear things off the table for meals, you'll want a dedicated spot for your things. But you don't need a de designated spot for learning. Just take it where it goes. Um, so enjoy your school shopping. Let your kids choose some fun stuff. Uh, they'll take ownership of it that way. And you might need another bookshelf or two.